Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to do the short method for squaring binomials. Now, in the previous video, I showed you to get the how to get the products of binomials. Um, in this case, we are dealing with a binomial, but it is a square of itself. So in this case, x plus y times x plus y. So I'm going to show you how to do the FOIL method before we get into the short method. So first thing you do is you expand it, basically such as this. And then you would use the FOIL method, which would be multiplying the first, and then the outer, the inner, and the last. Okay, so the first one would be x times x is x squared. And then x times y would be xy. Also check for your symbols to make sure that you don't have any negatives in the mix. So then you have another plus xy. And for the final one, we have plus x, uh, sorry, plus y squared. Okay, the next thing you want to do is simplify, as you would do with these binomials. And that's just plus xy plus xy is 2xy. And then that is your answer. So the next you will have the short method. I'm going to use the same example with the short method. So you want to follow these three steps. You square the first, which in this case is the x. You double the product, which would be x times y, and then times that by 2. And then you square the last. Okay, so let's do that. All right, so the first is x, which you square, so x squared. And to do the products, I'll just uh, do that here for you on the side real quick. x times the y times 2. All right, remember to include the symbols as well. Uh, in this case, they're positive, so I don't have to worry. So x times y times 2 will give us 2xy. Okay. I will show you how to do one with a negative symbol in the next example. Um, so just hang on for that. Okay, and then uh, you square the last, which in this case is y squared. So problem number two. All right, here we have a negative symbol, so x minus 3 squared. Okay, so we square the first, which is x squared. And to get the product, it would be x times minus 3 times 2. Okay, so if we times x times minus 3 would give us minus 3x, and then times that by 2 will give us minus 6x. We'll just put this in here. Okay, for the final one, if you are timesing a negative number together or squaring a negative number, you normally get a positive. So in this case, minus 3 times minus 3 will give us positive 9. Okay, let's try a little bit more of a tricky um, square binomial. Okay, so 7x squared, that's our first step. Uh, we'll have to times 7 by itself and x by itself. So 7 times 7 gives us 49, and then x times x, x squared. So 49x squared. Now for the product, we will go 7x times minus 3y times 2. Oh, I forgot the minus. Okay, there we go. Minus 3y. Don't forget those symbols because they can really trip you up. Okay, so in that case, we will get minus 21xy as it's minus 3 times 7xy. Uh, and then times that by 2 will give you minus 42xy. Okay. So for the final one, you square that, minus 3y times minus 3y will give us a positive, of course, positive 9, and then don't forget to square the y, 9 squared. Okay, and that is your answer, and that is how you use the short method.